Hey, this is Rock Todd. We're here with Hello Games from Joe Danger fame. And they are here to talk about a new game, Joe Danger the movie. And it's not a movie, it's, it's still a video game. So uh, how come you guys are doing a sequel to, to your first game and not doing like a completely new game about, I don't know, love or hate or something? <laughs> well, we are doing a completely new game, but it is also a sequel, right? So we're, we're trying to kind of go a little bit crazy with what Joe Danger was. So Joe Danger on PS3, you were just on a on your little bike for the entire game. In this one, there's so many different game modes, so many game types and vehicles and environments. It's basically every film that we've ever loved, every scene from every film that we've ever loved, kind of, well, action scenes at least, right? Uh, put together into one game. And that's kind of, that's our the script for our film. So you've got mine carts and skis and skidoos and uh, you know, cop bikes, everything, right? Yep. Uh, we just had quite, quite some time to, to play the game ourselves, and it's it's just nuts. It's just nuts. The, the you have jetpacks in the game, which is crazy, and they are just completely different from anything else that we've played in a Joe Danger type game. Um, so uh, you still have this really striking visual style. Uh, do you have like one internal artist who does all of it, or how, how do you guys do that? So on Joe Danger on PS3, that was just one artist, and but now a couple of other guys have joined us. They've actually never worked on a game before, uh, so it's it's really quite fun. And we kind of wanted that for to have fresh new eyes on it. But we're definitely inspired by all the games that we grew up with. So for me, that was you know SNES. Uh, for Grad, our artist, that was like uh, Mega Drive, Genesis, you know. Uh, but we love those kind of bright, colorful, vibrant, accessible games. But kind of not kids' games, you know, we want them to be really deep and, and kind of, you know, have, well, like like Sonic was, like Mario's, you know, they're the hardest games of the world, really. I don't think that I could just sit my cousin down with Joe Danger and let him play it and, and succeed at it for, for, for very long because it's, it's a tough game. It's still a tough game. The first one was. Uh, are you going to expand on, on the difficulty or is it going to be like similar to the first one? So quite quite easy-ish at first, but then at the end it's just balls to the walls? Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's the idea is that we take you, if you play the game, we take you on a journey, right? And hopefully levels that seemed maybe difficult at the start, when you come back to them after you've completed the game, they're just so easy and it's, it's laughable to you. You've learned so many skills. The kind of cool thing about having all these different vehicles is that they all have their own skills to learn and their own kind of difficulty curve. But one of the things that we have is, say, Jetpack is one of the hardest vehicles, right? Uh, but it's also very different, and once you've mastered it, you kind of have this amazing control over the game, and you can do really cool things. Uh, whereas something like Minecart is a bit more slow and clunky. It allows you to get used to the game a bit, but also it's quite cool because it's a bit more robust. So sometimes that's kind of what you want. And if you're playing against other people, then it's cool. Sometimes I'll choose a minecart, whereas you might love to be on skis or something like that, you know? Uh, and it's also just great to have Indiana Jones references in your games. <laughs> uh, I think we have to stress again how small, how small of a studio you are. We are sitting on your studio couch, aren't we? Yeah, yeah that's right. Well, this is actually uh, Grant's sofa, uh, and that's my TV and my laptop that's running the game. And, you know, most of the kit here is just stuff we have from home. So we like loaded it all up into a van and drove from England over to Cologne and just set it all up. And basically we haven't slept for about the last three days or something like that. It's just great to see you guys like full of energy here, showing your game that, you, that you're making out of love. And, and because it's just, it's awesome. I like the, the spirit of you guys. Um, so this rock toy, keep an eye of, on Joe Danger the movie. It's gonna be—I I can just say—it's gonna be really great. It feels great. It looks amazing. Play it.